Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Azure Infrastructure Update. It is the 23rd of May, and obviously I'm not in my normal space. So I am traveling, I'm actually sitting in a hotel room in Tulsa. It is Ironman Tulsa this weekend. So as you're watching this on Sunday, I'll be out swimming, biking and running. I'm number 418 if you get bored and want to see how miserable I am at that moment in time. But I still wanted to try and get you the latest updates and it is actually a pretty quiet week this week. Two little things to start with though. Um, I'm discovering this YouTube community thing. And so please go ahead and subscribe because I actually kind of want your input at certain points when I'm deciding what to do next. I've got like a PowerShell masterclass and an Azure masterclass. And I was trying to decide what to do next. And so I actually just threw out a poll over here. So you can actually go and vote on what you think I should do next, be it a DevOps masterclass or a certain kind of study crowd. So go subscribe and start helping me and I'm gonna post more things to the community section just to kind of have more of a kind of two-way conversation going on. Uh, secondly, people have asked about some of the shirts I've worn, like some of the YouTube ones and the Cloud Architect rate one. Uh, I never wanted to sell them because I didn't want to make money, but someone suggested, well, look, why don't you sell them and just all the money goes to charity? So that's what I did. So I set up a little spring t-shirt store and basically they have the ability to send all money directly to a charity. So any profit after they've kind of made the shirt goes to cure childhood cancer. So if you're ever curious, I've got like three up there, you can go and check that out. New videos this week, I did kind of a video about how I can troubleshoot my PowerShell using try catch, but also things like write verbose, write debug to really just help have better code. I then dived into Azure Resource Mover. So this enables me to actually move certain resources between regions. And then also there's ways I can move between subscriptions and resource groups using a separate process. And I did a little mini motivational video about, hey, 15 minutes a day uh, can actually really add up if you can be consistent. In terms of new features, so on the compute side, AKS has GA the ability to migrate a cluster from a service principle to a managed identity. Remember, managed identity is really a service principle in a wrapper that's auto-managed. An AKS cluster needs an identity to do things on Azure. I have to be able to create load balancers, create managed disks. So initially, this had to be a service principle. But a service principle can have issues because, well, it can expire. Uh, maybe I need a new password. So a lot of problems can actually arise, whereas a managed identity is just automatically handled. Well, now I can take my existing service principal clusters and migrate them to managed identity very, very easily. I can actually jump over, and if I look in here, this is actually the documentation, we can see, hey, look, it's really just this, this single command that lets me do this update from service principal to managed identity so that's what i'm kind of want to go and actually do in my environment and then you have to do a node image only upgrade actually to the pool but that is now available so i definitely recommend you go and do that get off of the service principle get to the managed identity and then microsoft announced the deprecation of using docker hub for the microsoft container images they're really moving to the microsoft container registry and basically on the 30th of June, 2021, you're gonna to need to be on the Microsoft Container Registry. Now it's very easy for you to do any kind of Microsoft slash image you're using. Now you're gonna explicitly reference the mcr.microsoft.com registry, and then you're done. I think really this is all about Microsoft now has more control over the kind of the quality, the performance, the reliability, because they're running their own image repository. On the networking side, so there now is an Azure VPN client for Mac OS in preview. Now this can use certificate based and radius, but the really cool part is it can use Azure AD based authentication. And that means I can do MFA, conditional access, user policies. So phenomenal functionality there now with that VPN client for Mac OS for my point to site VPN. 
And they also announced some new peering locations for Express Route. So if you remember, the whole point of a peering location is these are the places where the Microsoft backbone meets a fiber neutral a carrier location. So as a company, I could maybe have my MPLS meet there or a direct fiber connection from on-prem. And so those locations that do that cross connect between your network and the backbone, well, there's now these five additional locations available that maybe are better than existing ones that I've had to use, or maybe this opens up new opportunities. So those get added, and I think they're now saying, hey, across these 75 global commercial peering locations, points that Microsoft Backbone goes to that carrier neutral facility and can cross connect to your network. Then miscellaneous, so Azure Key Vault has actually increased their SLA to four nines. It was three nines, 99.9, now it's 99.99. This follows Azure AD that did the same change from the three nines to four nines. Obviously, Key Vault is that critical service. I can have my secrets, values I can write and read back, um, keys, data I can maybe import in or generate that does cryptographic operations or certificates with a full kind of lifecycle management and distribution. That's probably a key service to many things we do. Well, now I have that four nines SLA. Microsoft announced that IE 11 will finally retire um, 15th of May, 2022. And with that, Windows Virtual Desktop have said, hey, the web client for i 11, they're gonna stop supporting that end of September, 2021. Hopefully everyone's using Microsoft Edge anyway by now, but there you go. And that's it. I said it was a quiet week. Um, part of that is because it's build next week. So don't forget to go and register for build. It's free. It's all online. So go and check out really developer focused. But I think there is going to be some things that as an infrastructure still may be interesting. So go and sign up. But until uh, next week, everyone take care.